What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it is Thirsty Thursday, and we've got the first day under our belt with the volunteers working on this house. And um, it was just so much to do and all that. I just said, you know what? The hell with the Cowboys tell. I get done with this. This is more important because, you know, the Cowboys are the Cowboys. They're going to always be doing some crazy shit. Never. <sighs> you ever doing what the fans want and probably never really getting where we want to be. But you know what? That's how it is being a Cowboy fan. Um, so we just got back. Um, I'm going to take a shower and probably fall out or maybe go eat some dinner and really fall the F out. But I was sitting here catching up with the world of news because we've been kind of in a vacuum. And I came across this from first take. And I have to talk about this. Let, let Just listen in for a second because this is kind of... Kind of cray cray. I'm going to tell you this. This is going to be the worst season you've ever had. The worst Why? football season you've ever Me? had. How is it on first take? What? Yes. Why? Ooh. This is what? why. This got interesting. This it is really why. Did. You know what you live for? You live for the Dallas Cowboys to be built up so you and can bring plump. them down. Right? You live yeah. to be able to come on here and mo on Monday mornings during the season and say, Dak's been missed this week, and Dak is great, and look what Jerry's put together. So when it gets to the playoffs, you can have your San Francisco 49er moment. So when it gets yeah. to the playoffs, you can have your Jordan Love, Green Bay Packer moment. Guess what? You ain't finna get that, that in the playoffs this year. You ain't finna get that built up. You saying that the Dallas Cowboys fans are now sitting at home saying they gonna win the championship? No, they ain't. I know Dallas Cowboys fans. They are trying to be Houston Texans fans right now. There are people who are trying to move down the road so they can cheer for oh, CJ Stroud instead of cheering no, for Dak Prescott no. because they already mm -mm. know. And that stretch of the season mm -mm. that you talked about in the middle, that's when it's all going to come to an head. That's when you're going to have to show up here one morning in your Southern Steve hat with your cigar and talk about the fact that Mike McCarthy just got fired. And then you're going to be bringing on Adam Schefter to talk about what are possible landing spots for <laughs> Dak Prescott in the offseason. Because the team that was supposed to be all in turned out they was all out this offseason. They was all mm. out to lunch. They was all out on vacation. Mm -hmm. They was all out working at the working out at Equinox or whatever gym it is that they right. stay so fit and trim in because they right. wasn't getting ready to win no championship. You gonna be bored. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. And one more clip here. You know what's so tricky about Dallas, Ryan? Even if they don't implode, even if they're excellent during the regular season. It's going to be hard for us to show up and say yeah. it matters, right? Until the postseason, because yeah. we've just seen that story before. Right. Uh, as far as what I will be looking for and what will matter, I think, for postseason success is how this offensive line, which they have rebuilt this offseason, looks. You draft two rookies, first round draft pick Tyler Guyton. He might be starting at left tackle against Miles Garrett week one. Godspeed, young man. Cooper Baby on the inside <laughs> could be starting. Uh, so when we talk about this team and whether any of it will translate in January and beyond, for me, that's where it starts because that is yeah. really the only part of this roster they have heavily invested in. You know what? Okay. So it's doom and gloom for the Dallas Cowboys. We are literally roadkill. We got no chance in hell. Um, Dak Prescott will be going to another team. Mike McCarthy will be looking for a new job. And um, that's basically what they have to say about the Dallas Cowboys. The expectation for the Dallas Cowboys are slim and none here as we sit in mid-May. And I'm going to be the one to say that this ain't new. This ain't new. This, this is not new. This is what they've been saying every year every year at this time of year but what's going to be funny is <clears throat> what's going to be funny is 
as much as they have killed us, they have laughed at us, they have joked about us, these same people that are right now saying that the Dallas Cowboys will not do anything, that they're going to be awful, that they're not going to make the playoffs, that Mike McCarthy is going to be fired in the season, that Dak Prescott's going elsewhere, and, and so on. And, and by the way, saying it's going to be the worst season for Stephen A. Smith, if that were to happen, Stephen A. Smith would have a ball. He'd literally have a ball. But one thing I do say that I have noticed is it seems like they're talking less and less about the Dallas Cowboys. Um, they are truly not saying as much as they used to on a regular basis on the shows, and we aren't in prime time quite as much. And I think that this may be the best thing that could happen to the Dallas Cowboys because, quite frankly, whenever we're in the spotlight, it just doesn't work. Whenever we're in the spotlight, it seems like that's when we fail the most. The last three years, they've looked at the Cowboys and said, they're going to suck. They're going to be bad. They've got no chance. They don't care about winning. They don't know what they're doing. And here it is. I know they haven't had the postseason success. I, I, I get it. I know. I, I Believe me, I understand. But damn, they still end up with 12 wins. They still end up with 12 wins. So, yeah. Are you ready to give up on the Dallas Cowboys? Are you ready to um, say it's over? I'm not. I, in fact, think that this is the best thing that can happen to the Cowboys. That maybe, just maybe, people telling you, you suck. That you aren't shit. That your team is weak. That you're a laughing stock. Will actually make these guys reach inside and say, oh, hell no. Hell no. Uh, no. That they're going to go out there and literally, literally kick some teeth in. Here's the thing that's kind of amazing. Every year they always say that the Cowboys are going to be terrible. Everybody's going to, you know, how many years have we heard that Mike McCarthy is going to be fired? How many times have we heard that Dak Prescott's going to be gone? I believe Mike McCarthy's going in year number five. And I believe Dak Prescott's going in year number nine. And mind you, any year that he has been healthy through the season, He's never had to lose a season. He's always had at least nine wins. So take that shit to the bank. Ryan Clark, congratulations. Today, you made, you made some hay today. You got some headlines. You got the venom of Cowboys Nation. But sorry, bro. You are way the F off on this one. <sighs> I'll catch you guys in a bit.